Sometimes you stand or sit near a road and watch the vehicles passing by in either direction. You are not driving but you are enjoying the scenes coming that way. Similarly, simply sit in a quiet place and visualize your thoughts passing by. You have all sorts of thoughts generated based on nine different bhavarasas influenced by Harishad workers. You just be a witness and don't allow yourself be carried away by flowing thoughts. After 10-15 minutes, you just stop this process and try to understand what you did so far. This way you can control your mind. You will be relaxed to understand and to differentiate the mind and the thoughts. This is the first stage of Dhanya Yoga. You know that a bridge connects two sides of a river. Crossing becomes easy for the people when bridge is built. Similarly, Building bridge between body, mind and soul is the second stage of Dhanya Yoga. There is no natural bridge to cross the rivers. The creator has given brilliant brain power required material to construct bridge. There is no natural bridge between body, mind and soul. The same creator has given required materials in the form of soft and small techniques along with powers to construct bridge between body, mind and soul. How you are going to construct a bridge depends on your ideologies and your capacity. If you build a bridge with the wrong proportion of materials or if you choose wrong quality materials then bridge will be of no use. Second stage of Dhanya Yoga reveals the techniques of constructing a best bridge. Dhanya Yoga exercises is a condition of relaxed atmosphere. Its purpose is to detoxify the unconscious, develop focus and clear the brain. Dhanya Yoga exercises allows the person to relax his thoughts and allow him or her to look at the outside glow without any disruptions. This allows him or her to reach a increased stage of attention. Relaxation, attention and experience are all only one oneness. In other words, that is what our rishis have said. There are different types of Dhanya Yoga exercises and it is very important to remember three factors. First, one-pointedness of thoughts is a vital factor that indicates managing its motions. Secondly, setting range of one's lifestyle to help achieve this. This implies doing activities after with a weight of and calculating them. Third factor is the evenness of perspective or condition of level-headedness which indicates having the aristocracy and decency to think in terms of the whole globe. Benefits of Dhanya Yoga Dhanya Yoga exercises is a system in the form of meditation tranquilizes the persona. On physical stage, Dhanya Yoga exercises allows each cell in one's body system to renew and replenish itself. It also helps digestive function and makes breathing more efficient as well as enhances movement and quality of blood. Moreover, it enhances your ability to evaluate your feelings logically and that way and the way you respond in certain situations. In the process of meditation, we relax the brain that results in the renegotiation of our inner self to the right form. Meditation results in have smaller thoughts that cause smaller problems which in turn results in spending a simple lifestyle. It allows us to consider on significant factors that we are linking with the inner self. Thoughts become so filled with particular topic that it focuses greatly in the item to find the actual variations making a connection of the brain to a particular item. While exercising Dhanya Yoga, the attention of the specialist moves in the topic and allows in becoming one with the same. Thoughts is totally seen in the factor of concentrate while working on the same. Dhanya Yoga decreases stress hormone called cortisol, increases a sense of well-being, reduces anxiety and depression as well as substance dependency, harmonizes brainwave activity of the two halves of the brain, removes impurities and toxins from the body, improves immune function. This way, Dhanya Yoga is helpful for the patients ailing from various diseases and beneficial for one and all in general to keep their well-being intact.